my name is Jonathan Hicks. We're doing pie charts. And you can see all around me here, I've got Excel. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to use Excel to draw pie charts. Now, I've done another video where I show you how to do pie charts by hand on a piece of paper using a compass measuring the angles. But in this one, Excel will just calculate all that for you. It's pretty quick and straightforward. If you're not familiar with Excel, I've done an intro to Excel video and I recommend you watch that first and that will just explain what Excel is and how it works if you're not familiar with it already. Now I've also gone into more detail on how you actually create the charts and things in the bar charts video. I've done a how to create bar charts in Excel video. So if this one is a bit too quick for you, if I skip over a few things, go and watch the bar chart one and that should fill out all the gaps. All right, I've got a frequency table here. This is some data we've collected and it's the same data I've used for the how to create pie charts by hand video so you can compare them if you want to. Essentially we've gone around and asked a whole bunch of people what their favorite animal is and you can see these are the different animals that people picked and these are the numbers of people, the frequency, uh, who picked each of these different things. So nine people went for elephant, 26 people went for tiger, etc. And we're going to turn this data into a pie chart. So the first thing is to select the data. So you click on the top left of the data, hold your mouse button down and then drag down to the bottom right of the data here, let go and it selects all the data. Don't worry about the fact that this top left one is white. The first one you click on is always white but it is still selected. Now things to watch out for here, what you don't want to do is select the extra white blank cells to the right or underneath. If you do that it will go wrong. Most of the problems people have when creating charts come from the fact that they've selected the wrong data. So just be very careful of that. You just want to select the data. Again, you don't want to select the column titles at the top, just the data. So the different answers they could have picked, plus the numbers of people, the frequencies, who went for that. All right, so we've selected our data. You then go to the Insert tab at the top. The charts are in the middle here, and we want a pie chart. So if you click on Pie, there's a few different options here. You can get 3D ones your standard 2D pie charts, you can even create donuts if you want to, but I'm just going to go for the usual 2D pie chart. If you click on that, there you go, there's your pie chart. Now I like to move it onto a new sheet. If you look at the chart tools tabs at the top, incidentally if you've lost those, if you click somewhere else, those will disappear. You have to click on the chart to get the chart tools tabs back at the top. On the design tab, if you click move chart, you can move it to a new sheet and you can give it a new name, so I could call this pie chart for example and when you click OK it moves this chart into its own sheet and you see it now fills the page down at the bottom here this tab pie chart is where it is all my data will be back on sheet one uh, I'll just have to wait a second for it to transfer back across there we go you can see my data is all still there but the chart now has its own separate sheet and when we print it out that will fill one sheet of A4 so it will be a nice big size now you can see the key, or the legend sometimes it's called, at the bottom here is rather small. So if I click on that, we'll be able to format it. We can make that a bit bigger. Uh, it seems to have slowed down again, there we go. So if I click on this, we can make this a bit bigger. Oh, there we go. You might want to change the location as well. If you go to the design tab at the top, the add chart element things there, and you'll notice we've got the legend option here and you can decide where you want it to be so if you obviously pick none that means you don't have one you can have it on the right the top the left the default is the bottom I like to have it on the right it's quite a bit of space there so I'm going to click right and put it there again back on the home tab is where you would format it so you can make it bold if you really want to and as I say you can play with the fonts and the sizes of things like that the title at the top here the easiest way to change the title is to click on it and then just start typing. So this is going to be a pie chart. Now you'll notice my text is appearing here. It's not updating this yet. Once I press enter, it will change the actual title at the top. So I'm just going to carry on typing. So pie chart showing people's uh, favorite animals. And I press enter. And then you notice it's changed the title at the top. Again, on the home tab you can make it bigger if you want to you can make it bold and make it look like a proper title and that's it everything else will sort of adjust to fit 
Um, you can sort of put percentages and things in here as well if you want to, but in terms of a basic pie chart, you don't need anything more than that. As long as you've got the key or the legend down the side, that will explain what all the different things are. You can see that this wedge of pie, the yellow one, is going to be the tiger, etc.